TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this very last trading day of the month of March. We're looking at, uh, this is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Dow's down 124, having made that peak D that we were looking for in the Chapman Wave methodology. We went to 35,372. Now we're down 35,107, down 122. It's going to be an important session to look at that monthly chart at the close today at 4 o'clock. The S&P has done very well also, and we're looking at it down today, down 12. at oh, let's see, down 15 now at 4586. Having made that peak T, remember, this is where we get a little bit cautious. And what we are looking at is that monthly chart. Let's see what happens at the close today. We're looking at the QQQ. One, two, three. Here we go. Uh, QQQ is down at 364.91, down just over two points. I uh, had a really strong leg going from the 317 uh, area to the high of just over 370 three days ago, hit resistance and now it's pulling back a bit, but this has been really good. The technicals are still very good in this leg B, uh, sorry, peak B, and now we're looking at the IWM. The Russell 2000, which is the small caps, also made a peak D. So you've got the Dow, the S&P, and the IWM at D right in the 200 period moving average where you'd expect some kind of a, a pushback, and that's what you've got. It is up 25 cents at 207.72, below the 211's uh, resistance in the 200 period moving average. Looking at gold, gold's acting quite well here. It's up 7 and 19.45, stuck in this range, going from an H to an M pattern within the rectangle with, uh, the I'd say, 1970 resistance and 1900 support. Looking at crude oil pulling back quite sharply, it's down down four at 104.10, I'd said below 103. They got to start looking at that 99 area. We'll see what happens there. And the TLT, which are bonds, having a little bit of a rally up 21 cents at 131.97. There's a chance that the uh, that the bonds can actually rally rallies a little bit here. Having yields come down just a little bit, we'll see what happens there. Now, what's really important about this is that we want to see what the close is like today. A lot of selling pressure here, and we'll see if that continues through the rest of the day. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a moment. I hope you can stay and check out my opening call daily newsletter. Be back in a moment. Hope to see you soon.